Here's a quick review of the Ishin ET526, um, 50, 200, and 600 milliwatt adjustable transmitter. This is the package it comes in. Uh, seems like a nice, nice unit, but my biggest gripe is this is your instructions. Okay, so really nothing there. Um, <clears throat> you don't need a whole lot, but it doesn't explain how to use uh, the PWM function, which it claims it has for uh, adjustable power, I believe it was. Uh, channel selection through PWM. So I haven't uh, tinkered with that yet to try to figure that out. I'm not sure if I even will. But uh, here it is set up. And my first gripe, so I mean, it, right now it's transmitting an image just fine, but same thing everyone else is saying is, is this. So I just unplugged, and I'll plug back in. Okay. So you see all the lights on here? Okay. No picture. Every single time, you have to double click the top button. And you'll see that red light is a little brighter now. So it's on. So I'm thinking it's highly unlikely that there's a way to fix that. That's just uh, a glitch. Um, but other than that, channel selection is nice and easy. You know, just cycle through. Long hold swaps the, uh, the band. So Aside from that, yeah, it's great. And then you can switch the red light is indicating the 25, 200, and 600 milliwatt functions. So, um, I lost it now in here. There we go. So, I mean, Great picture. This is with a with a HS eleven seventy seven Fox here. Um, so it comes with these three wire connectors here with a five volt out, which is really nice. So, except what's weird is the power in here. Um, I'm going to be putting a JST on that. Uh, the, the servo leads, that's just stupid. Nobody uses those. Not for power connections anyways. So, um, yeah, all in all, it was a good deal from Banggood. And, uh, you know, I don't have any uh, have any time with it in the air yet, but we'll give it a go, and, and I'll uh, update in the comments a little later. Thanks.